Hey guys, so I am on the way to the shopping mall and today I'm going to be finding some back to school items, seeing what's available and we'll be taking a look at a couple of different stores. So we're just on the way to the mall now. This bridge is definitely quite long so it'll take a while to get there but I'll go ahead and show you some items when I get to the store. The first store we'll be heading into is Typo. They have quite a few stationary items including notebooks and pencil cases. Over in this section, there are a couple of different journals. You can use them for back to school, but you can probably find more traditional school books in some other stores. This one says Mind Your Mind, and some of the other ones have some more writing too. I do really like the pencil cases here in Typo. They have some really great designs. This one has a speckled and marble design to it. I do prefer the ones with two or three different pockets because you can store more. And if you're a fan of the show Friends, this would definitely be a great option for you too. And underneath those and over on the other side, they have a couple more different options. There are some beach ones, some pastel ones, but I definitely prefer the ones that I showed right at the start. There are a few A4 and A5 spiral notebooks for note taking and I do like these ones because they have the elastic over the front of them so the pages don't get bent or anything when you place them in your bag. Some of them do have really interesting designs but you do just need to go through them all to see which one suits your personality and what kind of style you'd like. This pets and plant one is really adorable in the back though. A water bottle is definitely an essential item these days for back to school, especially since you don't want to be bringing plastic bottles in. You can have one of these where you can refill them, and all of these have really lovely marble designs on them. Another stationery store that's really well known is Kiki K. I love going in there and taking a look at some of their new items, so let's head inside. Here's an overview of the store. Their items are definitely more pricier than some of the other stores we'll be heading into today, but I especially love their yearly planners, so they have their 2020 journals out and available already. These books next to the planners, where they talk about your goals and your mindset, would probably not be an item you would bring to school, but you'd probably have it throughout the school year to take down notes and ideas. And this item here is a weekly journal. You probably wouldn't bring this to school either, but you can just keep track of your thoughts weekly. This is an item I would really love to have on my desk. It is a weekly planner. It is quite large, but it just gives it enough room where you can write multiple notes down for each day of the week. And it's really organized quite nicely and definitely Kiki K themed. And then over here, there's an elastic for a notebook in case if it doesn't come with one. There are also some classic pens here and some markers and highlighters too. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what your back to school essential item is. And if you didn't want to carry such big items around in your bag, they do have some smaller items. So here's a mini desktop calendar for the year 2020. $2 is such a great price for this item. And then there's also a small mini journal to match as well and also some notepads too. And even though I said before this store is quite pricey, there are quite a few sales on, especially for the 2020 items since we're already in February. One of the most popular stores to go shop for back to school items these days would definitely have to be Kmart because they have really affordable prices for some really great items. So over here we just have some general school supply items. We've got rulers, sharpeners, hole punchers, sticky notes, scissors, anything of the kind. There's also label makers. These magnets are really adorable and a pack of six for $3 is definitely a great price. An item that I've seen quite a bit lately are these spiral paper clips. They're really common this year and they're only $2 for this pack. They also have the classic paper clips as well, but they also have a metallic finish and a pastel finish along with just the classic silver ones. And if you want a more affordable planner, these ones at Kmart are really great too. They're only $12 and they look so much like the ones that Kiki K sells. So this is definitely a great alternate option. And I especially love the finishes. They have the plain ones at the bottom. You can see that they're already sectioned off into notes over in the back where you can write different ideas down. And they just have the classic planner look over at the front as well. And it's organized in days. Over in the front, it's a really pretty mint blue finish. And there's also some stickers too. There are a few pencil cases here as well. These ones are quite small, so they're mainly just for pens, and they're $4. And then over here, you just have some of the larger pencil cases. And this one over here is only for $0.50. Cents. You can add your name in at the front as well. I think that is such a great affordable price. And down here, you just have some more of those classic pencil case options. And it definitely seems like pastel colors are a really popular themed color this year, especially for notebooks and pencil cases too. And right next to those items, there's a lot of glue. There's Elmer's glue, and then there's the glue stick too. 
And rather than having fancy pens, these ones are just the classic pens you'd find normally in your pencil case. There are quite a few different options. There's Papermate, which is a really popular brand. There's also Sharpies, Texters, and Markers too. And over on this side, an item you definitely need are highlighters. So there's highlighter sets and there are multiple different packs over there. The next section here are notebooks. There are a lot of different ones to choose from. There's ones that are spiral, and then there's also the regular books too. I do prefer the ones at Kiki K and also at Typo, but these ones are also a good option too. They're also at a really affordable price. These ones are smaller little spiral books and they're 100 pages, but they're really tiny. And then there's just some classic writing books over on the other side as well. And if you prefer binders, there's binder paper right at the bottom as well. And speaking of binders, there are a few different ones to choose from over here. There are multiple different styles and colors. And at the bottom, there are some clear folders to store pieces of paper as well. I have found the notebook section. There are so many different notebooks to choose from, and they're definitely essential to writing down different notes and ideas and keeping track of them. I really do love the pastel colors that they use. They're definitely my favorite colors. So if we take a look at this over here, it has more of a textured cover, which is really interesting. And then up here, I think this has to be my favorite one. It just says notes written on the front. And over next to the binders, there are some more plastic sleeves where you can store pieces of paper. They're definitely really great so they don't get crumpled. And if you are in a little bit of a hurry for back to school items, you can just pick up this gift pack. It has a notebook, pens, and also has a couple more essentials you need. There's also a pencil case too, and they're all really pretty. And they're only $5, which is such a great price. Sports Girl normally probably isn't the first store that comes to mind for back to school supply shopping, but they have some really great pencil case options and some makeup bags if you want to just bring a small bag with you to school with some items. This pencil case here would probably be my favorite out of the options here. Over on the other side, there are a few more options. Some of them have three different pockets, while others have two or one. I really like this one. It's very summertime, which is great, but this one over here is really adorable. There's avocado and toast on it. But then if we go over here, my favorite one would probably have to be this one. It has more of a marble finish and has pink and gold on it. I don't know if these items are included as back to school items, but I thought I'd show them anyways. 20% of the profits do go help koalas. So over here, there's a keychain which you could add to your pencil case or your school bag. And then over on the other side, there's this really great pencil bag or makeup bag. Has a koala design on it and it's clear. There wasn't much else at Sports Girl since it is mainly a clothing store. So the next store we're at is at Target. And that's probably another really common store to go back to school shopping along with Big W. But I won't be showing Big W today because it would probably be very similar to Target. So here we just have some plastic folders and there's a total of 20 sheets where you can store papers. There are so many different color options to choose from but I definitely love these top two here. There are also quite a few different pen options here and pencils too. There is a pencil pack that does come with quite a few over here and they have a really lovely design over on the front, but right next to that there's some more classic pens too. There are some gift sets over on this side which are really similar to the ones at Kmart, but these ones are quite expensive. They're $12. There's a bit of difference. There's no pencil case or anything, but they're definitely a lot more pricier. So you definitely have to check the prices when you're going back to school shopping. While these planners over here are 25% off, so they're definitely a great price, but you can see there's not much of a pastel theme to it. These colors are a lot more brighter, but there are some tropical patterns on the front. I do really like these pencil cases though. There's a fried egg design, and this one has a tropical print on it, and they're a total of $4. There are a couple of notebooks over on this side too. They all have very similar colors to the planners and the pencil cases as well. And a lot of the books come in packs of three, which is really great because they all have very similar themes. Hey guys, so I am back now. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video, taking a look at some of the new school supplies that are available in store now. This video was suggested, so I thought it'd be a great idea to go through some of the stores to see what's there. So thanks for watching.